To my beloved brethren and God's holy people across the globe, welcome to another program in the series, A Word to the Nation broadcast. I am Pastor Carol Wilson, your humble servant, and I encourage you to spare a few minutes out of your busy schedule and allow the Lord to speak to your hearts. The heart is a part of your body's circulatory system. The main function of your heart is to keep blood that's full of oxygen circulating through your body. Because your heart is crucial to your survival, it's important to keep it healthy and to avoid the things that can damage it. A blessed Sabbath morning to all God's wonderful people. If you are able to join me this morning in this time of devotion, it means that at least your heart continues to function. My topic this morning is the heart of the matter is the matter of the heart. Our key text comes from 1 Samuel 16, 4 to 7. Samuel did what the Lord directed and went to Bethlehem. When the elders of the town met him, they trembled and asked, Do you come in peace? In peace, he replied, I've come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and said, Certainly the Lord's anointed one is here before him. But the Lord said, said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or his stature because I have rejected him. Humans do not see what the Lord sees. For human sees what is visible, but the Lord sees the heart. The average heart is the size of a fist in an adult. Your heart will beat about 115,000 times each day. Your heart pumps about 2,000 gallons of blood every day. When the heart stops functioning, the human body dies instantly. Taking great care of our health that could affect our heart is important as heart disease is one of the leading cause of death in the world. So what really is the heart apart from its physical function? The heart is the seat of our emotions, thoughts and intents. God explains it clearly to the prophet Samuel, the Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. 1 Samuel 16, 70. The heart of the matter is the matter of the heart. God directed the prophet Samuel to anoint a new king of Israel who would be chosen from among the sons of Jesse. Samuel was obviously impressed by the eldest son of Jesse. Verses 6 and 7 of 1 Samuel 16 says, When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and said, Certainly the Lord's anointed one is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or his statue because I have rejected him. Humans do not see what the Lord sees, for human sees what is visible, but the Lord sees the heart. This passage declares that the tendency of humans is to judge another, assess another, and evaluate another based on our five sensory perceptions, which for the most part is misleading. God declares 
that he assesses the heart. Therefore, Samuel had to abandon his method of selection and depend on God's choice. So there were other sons of Jesse who passed by Samuel, but they were also rejected. Samuel saw no other sons coming forward, and so he had to inquire of Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? There is still the youngest, he answered, but right now he's tending the sheep. Jesse did not see David, his son, as qualified to be chosen, and so he was prepared to isolate him from the selection process. But Samuel insisted, send for him. And as he came in, God said to Samuel, anoint him. He is the one. Yes, he is still young. He is insignificant. He has no experience of fighting the enemy. All he knows about is shepherding, but his heart is right. And the heart of the matter is the matter of the heart. You might have been bypassed, overlooked, and sidestepped. You might be in a remote place where no one is seeing you, but God is fully aware that you are there. You are God's choice if your heart is right. David became Israel's greatest king, the great-grandson of Ruth, and the forefather of Jesus, the promised Messiah, Israel's second king, was an extremely popular person, a very dedicated friend, and a brave warrior. But he was fairly ordinary, easily overlooked, and practically anonymous when he was a youth. What did God see in a person like David that others, including his father and Samuel, the prophet, did not see? Why is it essential not to judge people by their looks? How does a nobody make a difference and rise above a crowded field of talented people? The heart of the matter is the matter of the heart. At the time of Jesus, many of the teachers were putting the emphasis in the wrong place. They thought that holiness could be attained simply by obeying a whole lot of rules that concerned outward behavior and actions rather than heartfelt obedience. So when Jesus was asked by a Pharisee, an expert of the law, which of all the commandments is the most important? His reply was in a way putting out that the heart of the matter is the matter of the heart and said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. What then is the condition of your heart? Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep your heart with all diligence for from it flows the springs of life. In other words, the heart is where the issues of life are, and the Bible sets high importance on keeping our hearts pure. Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Having a pure heart towards God is single-mindedness, devotion to Him, where as having three hearts and two intents literally means light-mindedness or being frivolous in our dedication towards God. We need to be reminded that God is concerned about our hearts and it is the attitude of our heart that matters to God. We need also to heed the word of the psalmist to seek God, to create in us a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit 
within us. Psalm 51.10 So what is the heart of the message? The heart of the message is the matter of our heart. If you are to be God's instrument who will change the course of human history, it will take more than just good theology. It will require more than just well-learned skills, and it would involve more than just a deep passion to share Jesus with the world. It will require more than a life of pretense to impress others. It will take a heart of purity. It was said of King David that he shepherded them with a pure heart and guided them with his skillful hands. Psalm 78, 72 The heart of the matter is the matter of the heart. Amen. Give me a heart so I might Thank you for joining us today for a Word to the Nation broadcast, B098. This is your brother and friend, Carol Wilson, saying, Have a happy Sabbath, a fantastic day, and may the God of heaven bless you real good. Peace and love to you all.